<sighs> what? Me bigger than you, me Tarzan. <laughs> oh, really? Go away. Go away. Nobody likes you. Yeah. Go over there and think about what you did. I can talk to animals. I'm like Eliza Thornberry over here. <laughs> Someone. Let's see what happens if I do this. And I'm just gonna go this way. Oh crap! <laughs> Whoops! We won! Oh wait, we <laughs> I'm gonna load. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Okay. I just hit myself with the missile. I was trying to get out of it so I could... Damn it. <laughs> oh. I was trying to lick it with a button and get back into flying so I could strafe or something. <laughs> Did not work out. That's the- Alright, you walk through that door, we're shooting your brain box in. Don't just stand there, get down! Alien, come help me! Leave us alone! Help me, big mama! Yeah! <laughs> oh god! Okay, that got me that time. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I thought she was going to go for the chick. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, so it went from yeah to oh my god. What the f- <laughs> The game broke. <laughs> I think he zapped me, but it's just the way that worked. It kind of went, and zap, you're dead. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's if I could do anything. <laughs> oh, man. I'm pretty sure I died. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I did not see that coming. Hi, Boomer. How you doing, buddy? Look at you running. What a cutie. Oh, God. You all right, buddy? All right, let me see. Oh, crap. <laughs> Wrong button. <laughs> Where the beast of pirates lay. Oh, oh, I can almost feel it. We almost have enough rockage. I feel like we're close. Come on, work game. <laughs> Let me out. Let me out. This is not a song. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can jump more in this without connecting. Oh! Ha <laughs> ha! It works. Daddy's free. <laughs> Time to mess with the ship. <laughs>
Jesus. I jumped so hard. Like that actually hurt my legs. I'm trying to jump away from my headphones again. Say hi. Yeah, if you see my clothes all strung about, I need to do laundry tomorrow. Tonight. Tonight. I talk good. Ophelia. Say hi. Say hi. You're not very good at saying hi, huh? Big joke. <laughs> The dark, but it's meant to be dark. Come to negotiate, eh? Have you, you slimy git? Guess what I got? I got a jar of dirt. I got a jar of dirt. And guess what's inside it? What does my muzzle break do? Oh, wait, I just attracted North Koreans here. Crap. I see. Break down below. Oh, <laughs> Okay, I don't know what I did to this rifle, but suddenly it does a lot of damage. It's a muzzle break too. Let's say without. I'll kill y'all. I'll eat your babies. Get back here. I'm gonna eat your kids. And your husband. I'm eating everybody out here. <laughs> when you're more orky than the orcs. <laughs> wait, wait, poison. Suck it. Hmm. <laughs> Lucky little biatch. Be friendly. Or be dead. He be dead. <laughs> I sent you down to Davy Jones' locker. Yeah, so the too early glitch should be fixed. I don't know It's you, babe? Oh my gosh. Who be saying these things? No way. Frickin' flag, man. <laughs> so mad. Oh, we shoot you like dogfights. Just game it for us. Hello, gentlemen. <laughs> He's like, hello, gentlemen. And Red Dead got shot in the dark. What the hell was that? God, how many raiders in this area? <laughs> All of a sudden, I realized where I was because I remember playing that part forever ago. And Fat Man was already too close, <laughs> and that's why I should wear a helmet and keep some of the radiation out. <laughs> Did he just crash a spaceship into my face? What the? F <laughs> they really want that objective. No, it's lit. It's lit. Throw it. Throw it. Throw it. Throw it. Dingus. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. Where even was it? Like, how did it get on my leg? <laughs> I already had the double. You.
What's up guys? How's everyone doing? I just scared the crap out of myself by clicking the wrong button. <laughs> I'm sure you all heard that clip loud as a day. So, rip headphones users. I apologize. Alright, so. Ugh. Are you ready to embark on this journey? On this adventure into the great beyond. At least for once we're not going into the Underdark or whatever. As far as I know. Really? Another update for a game every time. Every time. I just updated it yesterday. <sighs> Ain't that just great? Don't I just love it? I get a game already the day before. And then the next day, it just... No. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> I hate this game. It's not as bad as Blessed Unleashed, though. I will say, I'm upset with Blessed Unleashed. Like, I will probably never play that game now. Just because how many times it updated in, like, a week. Every time I try to stream it, there'd be an update, or servers crash, or servers go down for maintenance. Like, it was dumb. It, in, like, the middle of the day, too. Like, inconvenient for, like, everybody involved. But, at least we can enjoy this. Alright, let's get into gaming. I like when it changes the mouse to look like different things, so this already makes me super happy. that there's a volume thing somewhere down yonder direction, whichever place you're watching me. <laughs> Am I supposed to click? Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is turn that right down. Let's go with 80. Music at 50. What's this crap? Oh, maybe it shows you what you changed. All right. Um, go with like, eh, eighty should be fine. Voice volume, eighty-five. Frequency of character voice response sets the frequency of companion remarks in the game. Oh, that's cool. Pause between music tracks and turn-based mode. Don't know about that. Graphics. Reduce improved performance. Who would do that, though? <laughs> Alright, lock mouse side window on. Because any game that lets you not do that is an asshole. Camera shake effects. I mean, on until I don't like it. If I don't like it, then yeah, I'll take it right off. V sync's already on. Good, good, good. Uh, Doff, bloom. Everything looks great there. Yeah, 
Okay. I'll mess with these once I deal with it. Um, everything else will be learned. of RAM and yeah it's fine. I have so much RAM it's stupid. <laughs> AI doesn't use expendable spells. Enable this option for AI controlled companions to use only unlimited actions, spells and abilities in combat. Disable this option for the AI controlled companions. Um Use available action spells blah, 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 in combat, including those which require rest to restore. They cannot use any items. Oh, so they don't like use up all your health potions or whatever. That might need to be turned off. I don't know. We'll see how they do. Enable looting during combat. Right in the middle of combat. I mean, probably, depending on if that takes an action or not. <laughs> Oh, wait. Oh, that's font size. Never mind. Gore on. Quick movements. Increase the character's movement speed while out of combat. Yeah, okay. This option on. Critical hits kill enemies in graphic ways, such as hacking off limbs or explosions of blood and gore. Oh, yeah. This is going to be the game. Basic tutorial. Pathfinder. Crusader tutorial. Armies. I'll save it and enable. Three and three. Yeah, that's fine. Pause on lost focus. Suit on. Just in case. Let's keep moving, man. Enable this option to force the party to continue moving to the specified point, even if combat begins. Oh, uh, so I guess, um, if you get ambushed. Pause when trap is detected. Pause when hidden object is detected. Pause on combat, sorry. Pause melee combat. No, wait, pause on melee combat start. Hmm. Pause each round when all party members' turns are over. Um, I don't really know. Like, these are all stuff that I'll have to see. There's a lot of options though, that's pretty cool. Enable turn based mode. Enable turn based combat mode instead of real time with pause combat. Auto end turns. Auto interrupt movement. Hmm. Increase enemy animation speed and party animation speed. Hmm. So you can basically turn this into XCOM is what I'm seeing. Okay. So that's enough of the settings. New game. Main story. Join the struggle against the world wound. The epic war between Galarian and Abyss that has raged for more than 100 years. Up to now, the Crusader armies have barely managed to curb the overwhelming enemy. But not for much longer. The demon lords are preparing to strike a decisive blow. You will have to harness mythic powers to take command of the fifth crusade and lead it against the demonic hordes. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. Unfair. <laughs> All right, let me see. 
So custom is obviously custom. Story. The damage a character suffers from enemies and traps is reduced by 80%. Enemies are extremely weak and cannot critically hit. Your character will not die after suffering suffering a deadly injury. Oh, fuck, I could die. Instead, they'll fall unconscious until the end of the battle. If all your characters fall unconscious, the game is over. The damage your character suffers from enemies and traps is reduced by 60%. Enemies are significantly weak, cannot critically hit. Your character will not die after suffering deadly injury uh, for the first time. Instead, they'll be afflicted by the death's door condition. If a character with this condition suffers a deadly injury, they will then die. Resting in a comfortable and safe place removes the death's door condition. Your character can still die from an instant death effect. Energy drain poison. Or other similar. I hate instant deaths in D and D and whatnot. Like it's so cheap sometimes and cheesy. Like that is not the way I want to go out. Now, if you're like straight up bullying a god and then they decide to like one shot you, that's different. <laughs> but if you just happen to open a chest and it just one shots you, that that'd be fucking stupid. Like, there's an instant death curse on it that you didn't know because you're all too weak to know that. Like, that'd be stupid. I mean, but then again, you can make other people do <laughs> open the doors and shit. Alright, um... Character can still die. Da -da. If your main character dies, the game is over. If a companion dies, you can resurrect them with Raise Dead or similar spell. Extremely expensive service unavailable to most adventurers. Yikes. Damage of your character suffers from enemies and traps is reduced by 20%. Uh, your character will not die after suffering a deadly injury for the first time. Instead, they'll be afflicted with the death door condition. If character with this condition, da da, same stuff as before. Um, yeah. Daring. Your character suffers full damage from enemies, traps. Enemies are slightly weaker and. Inflict reduced damage on critical hits. Your character will not die after suffering a deadly uh, same thing. Death door. Injury safe place removes it. Da da da. If your main character dies, it's game over. If your painter dies, you resurrect them. An extremely expensive service. Blah, blah, blah. Core. Choosing this difficulty is not recommended for players not familiar with Pathfinder system. Which is true. The character suffers full damage from enemies. These are more enemies than usual. They have standard power and inflict the usual damage on critical hits. Your character will die after suffering a deadly injury. If your main character dies, the game is over. If the companion dies, you can resurrect them with Raise Dead or a similar spell. An extremely expensive service. Da -da -da -da. Full damage from enemies. There are more enemies than usual. They're slightly stronger and inflict the usual damage. So this would be like new game 10 <laughs> when you try this shit. <laughs> Furthermore, some enemies use additional spell, mm, excuse me, spells and combat abilities. Your character will die after suffering a deadly injury. If your main character dies, the game is over. If a companion dies, da -da -da, same thing. Choosing this difficulty is not recommended for players not familiar with Pathfinder system. As well as its implementation in the game, this game, the enemies will not forgive any mistakes made during combat, and your character build must be no less than perfect. Min-max the shit out of yourself, is what I'm hearing. <laughs> Alright, your character does suffers double damage from enemies. Uh, and traps. There are more enemies than usual. They are extremely strong and inflict the usual damage on critical hits. Furthermore, some enemies use additional spells while in combat. Your character will die upon suffering a uh, deadly injury. If your main character dies, same thing. Uh, you can still resurrect people. That's cool. Choosing this difficulty is not recommended for players. Not uh, as well as the implication of your game is willing to suffer, <laughs> and those who are not willing to suffer. The enemies will not forgive any mistakes, and eh, same thing. Must be perfect. Alright, I'm thinking normal. Normal seems like the best. 
This option determines the power of all critical hits inflicted upon members of your party. Da -da -da. Um. Glass as Lanty. Only one save slot is available in this mode. The game saves automatically in key points and upon game exit. Immersive mode. This mode disables almost all interface hints in combat lines of attack. Current enemies' actions, cooldown timers, it shows your enemies' actions, or your character's actions, and enemies' health bars. Additional options are available in the game. Crusade Auto Mode. In this mode, the strategic management of the Crusade continues without the player's involvement. Once activated, this mode cannot be deactivated. It has no effect on the main story, but some side quests associated with the Crusade might become impossible to complete. The defeat of the Crusader armies becomes impossible. Demon forts blocking access to captured regions will be liberated in stages. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. <sighs> Damn. I imagine unfair just straight up. Oh, wait, no, cancel. Oh, I guess it doesn't really have stuff like that. Weather effects, penalties, and stuff. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stick with normal. Let me see how he's built. Because <laughs> I want to be a fighter, for sure. Fighters excel in combat, defeating their enemies, controlling the flow of battle, and surviving such sorties themselves, while their specific weapon and methods grant them a wide variety of tactics. Few can match fighters for sheer battle prowess. Combat feats. Fighter gains twice as many feats as other classes. Some of these feats are directly connected to combat abilities. They ha also have access to unique feats and increase their damage and chance of hit. Weapon mastery. A uh, fighter can choose from a group of weapons and gain bonuses to damage and chance to hit while wielding them. As a fighter advances, they can choose additional weapon groups or gain new unique powers. Armor mastery. Fighters make the most use of their armor. As they advance, they reduce the penalty for wearing it. Yes, yeah, so that's pretty standard stuff. It's actually a pretty good setup for the most part. Let me see what custom would do. See if I can like base him on that. Oh, okay. Let's see real quick. Oh yeah, so I made this. <laughs> uh, just for such an occasion. <laughs> Alright, let me see. Armored Hulk. Damn. You got a lot of stuff in Pathfinder. I would like to rage. It reserves strength and ferocious, da, da, da. basically makes them impossible to fight. But we're gonna go with fighter. Oh, wait, shit. Could you just get out of my way? Mutation warrior? What? Where do I choose if you male or female, real quick? Oh, I guess it doesn't matter right this second. While well, fighters rely on physical fitness for restraining to achieve martial arts, a few prefer to imbibe dangerous concoctions that transform them into fearsome creatures. Athletics and all in the world. Bonus combat feat. Fighter proficiencies. Bravery mutagen. So what I'm hearing is... The Witchers. <laughs> 
weapon training. Preserve organs, spontaneous healing, feral wings, mutation warrior use, well, his fighter level, effective as alchemist. Hmm. A lot of interesting stuff then. Two handed fighter. Eldor Defender. Become proficient with dueling swords. I'm trying to figure out if I want a sword and board or just be a weapon swinging badass. Just covered in weapons. Like I am in D and D. <laughs> Oh, these are the level proficiencies. Oh, okay. Hell Knight or a character must choose one Hell Knight order to join at first level. The choice of order de determines what disciplines the character gains and later access to. Studious Squire. An Armager gains one additional skill rank at each level. In addition, an Armager treats Knowledge World as class skill. This alters the fighter's class skill and skill points per level and replaces the fighter's bonus feats gained at first attempt. Bonus combat feat. First level thereafter, fighter gains a bonus feat in addition to those learned normal advancement, meaning that the fighter gains additional feat at every level. These bonuses can da da da. Okay. Very neat. Fighter proficiency is light armor, medium armor, heavy armor, simple weapon proficiency, martial weapons, shield. So that's cool. So he gets that kind of thing. What's Dragonair? I don't know why I'm not reading this stuff. Because this will tell me exactly what kind of fighters they are. Yeah, Dory Sword Lords of Brevoy are among the deadliest and most feared fighters in the inner sea. They have spent long years mastering the Aldori, dueling sword, spitting, not pitting themselves <laughs> against other dueling swords and all manner of weaponry besides. Their speed and reflexes weave a net of impenetrable steel around them from which they strike and harry their unfortunate opponents. The most common form of Aldori dueling and arguably the easiest of the techniques to master Focusing on avoiding damage and disarming foes, these sword lords prefer to wear light or no armor, trusting their skill for protection. That's cool. Armagers. Un until would be Hell Knights take the trial referred to simply as the test, in which they enter single combat with a conjured devil and either emerge victorious or die. They are known as armagers. While this is a blanket term for all Hell Knights in training, including those training to become signifiers, it also applies specifically to fighters who focus their training to become Hell Knights. Despite their lack of recognized rank, armagers are skilled and deadly warriors. Among armagers live and train um, at their order citadel. Oh, so most armagers. I don't know why I said among. Um, working towards the day when they become full fledged Hell Knights, these armagers follow a brutality, uh, uh, sorry, a brutally strict routine. They spend hours honing their combat skills against their other trainees obsessively studying in the Citadel's libraries and memorizing patches of the Hell Knight's philosophy known as the measure of the the measure and the chain. At regular intervals, squads of armagers emerge from their citadels to patrol nearby cities or frontier lands, working to enforce Hell Knight law, their orders edicts. That's kind of interesting. That might be a strong direction. I also want to see what the default uh, character was. Um, default fighter. Dragonair Scions are the martially inclined humanoid descendants of those influenced by draconic powers. 
Unlike their sorceress brethren, Dragonair Scions manifest their heritage in ways more suited to strength of arms and skill with steel than arcane energies. Those who follow this path are often the children of mighty dragon blooded sorcerers and others who drew energy from the dragon blood, though they themselves might not exhibit spell casting ability. It's kind of interesting. Um, while most fighters rely. Alright, yeah, we already read this. It's Witchers. <laughs> Tower Shield Specialist. Many fighters believe the Tower Shield is a tool suitable only for troops on the battlefield, claiming it is too large and bulky to use in skirmishes or within dungeon corridors. Tower Shield Specialists defy those notions, using their massive shields with startling skill and incredible effect. They use these seemingly clumsy shields to perform deft maneuvers that confound their enemies. Hmm. Neat. Let's see. Second level Tower Shield Specialist can use his shield to screen himself from burst spells and effects gaining plus one on reflex saves against them while employing a tower shield this bonus increases by plus one every four levels after second to a maximum of plus five at level 18. Starting it at le second level a fighter gains plus one bonus on will saves against fear. This bonus increases by plus one for every four levels and the two-handed fighter. Some fighters focus on their efforts on finding the biggest, heaviest, most imposing weapon they can and training to manage and harness the weight of the massive weapon for maximum impact. These fighters' school benefits only apply when using two-handed weapons. I wish there was like a more of a, this is what this means. Like, do you not wear armor? Is that what this means? <sighs> armor training. Starting at third level, fighter learns to be more maneuverable while wearing armor. I kind of want this just because uh, damn big weapon sounds fun. Backswing. Full attack with two handed weapon. He adds double his strength bonus on damage rolls for all attacks on the first. Hmm. Still don't get anything with the this pile driver. <laughs> Standard action, two-handed fighter makes a single melee attack with two-handed weapon. If attack hits, then it may bull rush to trip. Alright, that's cool. I hate that it keeps scrolling back up for no fucking reason. There we go. 19th level in standard action, a two-handed fighter may make a single melee attack with two-handed weapon. At negative five penalty, if the attack hits, it is treated as a critical threat. Special weapon abilities that activate only on a critical hit do not activate if this is confirmed. So yeah. He can get weapon mastery, but he can't get armor mastery. That's kind of lame. Alright, real quick, I do want to see what this dude, what kind of fighter he is. Defense, melee, and ranged combat. Seems like he's just... General Broham. So how come it tells you what... Hmm. Oh, okay, I see now. I'm thinking the Hell Knight sounds kind of fun. So, Armager. 
He gets armor training. Doesn't really get the bravery bonuses. Gets the other stuff. Defensive parry, that's not bad. Let's go with the armager. See what happens. Elf, dwarf, gnome, Jesus Christ, <laughs> halfling, even smaller, half elf, half orc. A smart celestial resistance. So they're celestials of some kind. Um, classic tieflings. Or heads <laughs> of some kind. Orid, something like that. Yeah. Or orad, because like dryad, I guess. I don't know. Damn fears, which is probably uh. Vampire types. And Kitsune, aka the fox people. Humans possess exe exceptional drive and great capacity to endure and expand and as such are currently the dominant race in the world their empires and vast nations are and nations are vast sprawling things and the city citizens of these societies carve names for themselves with the strength of their sword and arms and the power of their spells humanity is best characterized by its tumultuous and diversity Oh, tumultuousness and diversity and human cultures run the gamut of uh, savage but honorable tribes to decadent devil worshipping noble families in the most cosmopolitan cities human curiosity and ambition often triumph over their predilection for the sedentary life and many leave their homes to explore the innumerable forgotten corners of the world or lead mighty armies to conquer their neighbors simply because they can. <laughs> uh, the physical characteristics are of humans are varied as the world climbs, from the dark-skinned tribesmen of the southern continent to the pale and barbaric raiders of the northern lands. <clears throat> Humans possess a wide variety of skin colors, body types, and facial features. Generally speaking, human skin color assumes a darker hue the closer to the equator they live, which is true, just like real life. A feat is an ability a character has. Mastered feats often allows characters to circumvent rules or restrictions. Characters gain one feat at the first level and every two levels thereafter. Humans receive bonus feet at the first level. Skilled. Humans gain additional skill rank at first level and one additional rank whenever they gain a level. Oh, that's pretty cool. <sighs> With fast eat ass, I guess. So minus two constitution. That's kind of sad. I wonder why. Plus two intelligence, plus two dexterity. Elven immunities. Elves are immune to magic sleep effects and gain plus two racial saving throw bonuses against enchantment spells and effects. 
keen senses, dwarves, elves, and gnomes, half elves, half orcs, halflings, kitsune, and orads receive a plus two racial bonus on perception checks. Elven magic. Elves receive plus two racial bonus on caster level checks. I mean, honestly, I'm not really going to use the elves. Y'all can read this on your own. I'll put it like this. You can just save it. I'm not really into elves. Uh, dwarves are usually pretty neat, but I don't think I'm going to use a dwarf for this. It's almost no downsides to it, though, which is neat. Expensive training giants. What? What does that mean? Plus four to dodge. Oh, okay. Halfling. Halfling luck. Sure footed. Slow movement. Racial heritage. Various places, living conditions, create sub races differing from their peers. They gain unique racial traits, which doesn't seem to tell me which ones. Skill intimidating. Half orcs receive a plus two racial. Weird that you don't just see orc. You can't play as just an orc. Persuasion checks intimidate due to their piercing nature. Skill every level. Orc weapon familiar. Orc. Half orcs are proficient with great axes and falchions. Falcons? I always forget how you say that. And treat any weapon with the word orc. And its name has a martial weapon. <laughs> That's funny. Orc Ferocity. When a half orc is brought below zero hit points but not killed, he can fight for one more round as if disabled. At the end of the, the, his next turn, unless brought to above zero, he immediately falls unconscious. <laughs> Keen senses. Plus two to racial bonuses and perception checks. I'm thinking human, half orc, probably not the glowing people of weirdness, light halo, asimars possess the ability to manifest halos. They can create a light center on their head at will. While using halo, they gain plus two circumstance bonus on saving throws against becoming blinded or dazzled. That's kind of cool, I guess. Celestial Resistance have Acid Resistance uh, 5, Cold Resistance 5, and Electricity Resistance plus 5. Um, yeah, they just seem not my style, really. Venish Resistance, same thing. But the Tieflings follow the general model of tiefling, Tieflings. Many do not. Those different lineages may events dramatically different mass manifestations. Uh, then there's famous races, da, da, da. not really a fan. I mean, what's your deal, sir? Dwarf blooded. Slow movement. Uh, have a base speed of 20 feet, but their speed is never modified by armor or encumbrance. Oh, yes, it's a lot like dwarves. Oh, neat. Um, plus two passes, acid resistance, acid affinity. Whenever uh, Ori casts a spell with acid descriptor, the saving throw DC against it is increased by one. All right. Jenny can trace their lineage to beings from the various elemental planes. Though their progenitors are typically genies, this... Oh, that's kind of neat. That explains a lot, actually. This ancestry can derive from any number of elemental creatures. Furthermore, even genie kin, whose ancestry include only genies, can manifest their elemental heritage in uncommon ways. It's kind of neat. Orads are humans whose ancestry includes the touch of the elemental being of Earth somewhere along the line. Often that of a shaitan genie. Stoic and contemplative, Orads are a race not easily moved, yet almost unstoppable when spurred to action. 
They remain a mystery to most of the world thanks to their reclusive nature, but those who seek them out in their secluded mountain hideaways find Orads to be quiet, dependable, and protective of their friends. That's nice. Alright, the last one I care about looking at is what I'm thinking is a vampire race. Damn fear Her heritage. Presented here are alternate damp damp peers. <laughs> Keep wanting to read that differently because the letters are all jacked up. Devampers <laughs> descended from specific breeds of vampires. A player may choose one of the following heritages for her damp fire. Uh, oh, damp peers can only be female. Oh, that's interesting. I guess. In place of the traditional Danfir race features, which are assumed to be born from less pure or mixed heritage. That's kind of neat, I guess. Negative energy affinity. Um, though a living creature, a Danfir reacts to positive and negative energy as if they were undead. Positive energy harms them, while negative energy heals them. So basically hit me with a fireball, I guess. <laughs> and it'll heal me. Uh, damn fire. Uh, we'll just say vampire. Vampire takes no penalties from energy drain effects. Undead resistance. Gains plus two racial bonus on saving throws against disease and mind affecting effects. Half living children of vampires birthed by human females. Damn fears are pro progenies of both horror and tragedy. Circumstances of Danfir's uh, conception are often called into question, but scarcely understood, as few mortal mothers survive the childbirth. Those who do often abandon their monstrous children and refuse to speak of the matter. While some speculate that Danfir's result from when mortal women couple with vampires, others claim that they form when a pregnant mother or a pregnant woman suffers a vampire bite. Some particularly zealous scholars even contest Danfir's status as a unique race instead of viewing them as humans suffering from an unholy affliction. Indeed, these hypotheses is strengthened by Danfir's seeming inability to reproduce their offspring inevitably humans, usually sorcerers with the undead bloodline. Yeah. I think I'm like in half work. Or human. Feet and skilled. Skilled. I think I like the idea of the half work though. Normally I go for human because I'm like, I want boring human to be super badass. <sighs> Feet. Feet. So humans can basically double what everyone else can do. But yeah, let's, let's try and orc. Sounds fun. Alright, racial heritage. You are a usual exemplar of your race. Human race half orc loses ferocity and orc weapon familiarity, but gains additional skill point per level. It's kind of cool. Tribal, tribal half orc loses orc ferocity and keen senses, but gains one luck point on saving throws due to sacred tattoos and plus two racial bonus. Oh, that's kind of cool. I want to keep ferocity. So I'll just be a basic bitch. I 
could go with mercenary. What's no blade? Acolyte. Oh, yeah, okay. Huh. Cool. Scythe. Just straight up rocking people with scythes. Background is unknown and doesn't grant you any bonuses. Yeah, I think I'll just go with what I was already looking at. Mugger. <laughs> it's all light armor. It's weird. Then again, I guess my character uses leather before. <laughs> this looks so angry. <laughs> uh, it's great. Oh, let me bump that up to like 18. Charisma could say 10. Bump up my knowledge. Oh, so you can go for like constitution build until I just was on charisma. Fear bonus. Yeah, I'll go strength. Gonna be strong as fuck, boy. Activate wand scrolls and only be unable to use. Yeah, okay. Five dexterity score, armor penalties, stealth represents character's talent as avoiding detection or during rest. Recall knowledge about dungeons and nature, cure disease. Your potions during camping, decipher writings in foreign languages. Actually, yeah, you know what? Tumbling. Examples where you apply your characters. Uh, uh, move past opponents without provoking attacks of opportunities, squeeze through tight spots. I could just do that later, I imagine. 
For now, it's kind of like what it wants to help me with. But, uh... I don't know. Probably be good. Man, so many options here. What's a core? <laughs> Choose unarmed strike or spell cast plus one. And all attack rolls. You can gain multiple pieces. Uh, okay, so. Hmm. Dude, I have literally no idea. Feels like there's a hair or something stuck in there. Like I feel like I got a dog hair or something stuck in my ear. Um fuck. Like <laughs> can I just tell it to pick whatever? I don't even know what weapons I'm gonna have. So many options for everything. Go with the long spear for now. Hell Knights of the Chain value social order and responsibility. Seek to root out anarchists and fugitives. They have reputations as relentless hunters who drag lawbreakers away in chains. These Hell Knights keep meticulous count of the number of criminals they've brought to justice. They never abandon the pursuit of a fugitive and they believe everyone has a specific crucial role to play in society. Order of the Gate. Hell Knights seek to curb and prevent lawlessness through magic and manipulation. They have reputations mysterious, emotionless, and sometimes cruel magic users. Many are convinced that the Order of the Gate Hell Knights are spying on them or already know their secrets. Sometimes this fear is true as the Order's members prefer preventing crime to punishing it and often use manipulation information gathering and spying to further their agenda. Order of the God Claw. Hell Knights enforce law with a Crusader's zeal going where they are needed most in the fight against the forces of chaos. They know no bounds or borders in the quest for absolute order. To the Hell Knights of the God Claw, the cause of order is a holy mandate for which they will travel far to battle chaos and lands that know little of civilization. To others, these Hell Knights' faith is likely inexplicable. Some believe the members of the order are experts in all five individual faiths, or even that they are heretics. Neat. Order of the Nail. 
or the Nail Hell Knights idealize civilized societies and seek to unite all people in advancing uh, that cultural baseline. In fact, the Order of the Nails members preach that anyone who doesn't embrace their own culture is a criminal and heathen who must be destroyed. The Order's members idealize the lifestyles and challenges of frontier settlers, no matter the displacement, indignation, or cruelty they might visit on those who were there before. Hmm. You can also pick favorite enemies and stuff. That's kind of cool. I think they're the only ones that have favorite enemy. Let me see. Select a creature type from the ranger favorite enemy list. You get the plus two bonus on weapon attack and damage rolls against them. At fifth level, ninth level, this bonus increases by an additional two. If Hell Knight chooses humanoids or outsiders as a favorite enemy, he must also choose an associated subtype as indicated by the table below. If specified creature falls under more than one category of favorite enemy, the ranger's bonuses do not stack. He simply uses whichever bonus is higher. Order of the Pyre. Seek to combat outlandish faiths and beliefs, preventing them from gaining purchase in the inner sea region. They are cult hunters first and foremost, but also fight to repress other philosophies they deem dangerous. These Helmites hate vocally condemn cultists, priests of rare religions, and followers of mythical orders. Sounds like me. <laughs> the Scourge seek out corrupted, corruption within order and laws not fit for the unlawful or for the lawful. They question and seek to determine the difference between what is legal and what is for the greater good, owing allegiance to no one, to no one nation or ruler. Their quest for order often takes them places that other Hell Knights cannot tread, both physically and philosophically. As a result, their commitment to the measure and the chain must be beyond reproach. That might be it. Oh wait. I forgot to read the rack. Why does it still say search? There we go. Order of the Rack. Hate wastefulness of both thought and deed. They crush pointless dreams and rebellions and trample frivolous or dangerous inventions. They also closely observe individuals seeking hints of destructive ambitions and wasteful vices, and are skilled at destroying tedious writings and strange inventions. Bunch of d bags for the most part. Hell Knights kind of suck, but these guys seem kind of okay. The nail's kind of cool because they get to select enemies. Hmm. Okay. I can go with Scourge. What's this now? Deity? Okay. Possible selections. I'm oh, a god of war. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of fighting. A lot of fighting. Zon Kuthon. Now I need to somehow fade my face green. <laughs> or I guess I could be half orc, but with light skin instead of uh, green skin. No reason I can't. It's my game. Uh, favorite weapons the flail. Let me see about war. If I just type war. God claw. Weapon flail. There we go, God of War. God of War. War. Okay, so these are the war gods. Uh, prerequisites, uh, prerequisites 
neutral, lawful neutral, oh, lawful evil, I meant. <laughs> so, full on evil gods. Alright, cool. Current value, I'm neutral. No archetype, priests of balance, feral champion, angel fire apostle, Urgotha, also known as the pallid princess and lady despair. Is the goddess of physical excess, disease, and undead. She's mostly worshipped by dark necromancers and undead, and those wishing to become undead. Sometimes those who live gluttonous lifestyles make supplication to her, as do those suffering from serious illness. Her faithful believe um, she was the first creature to defy far phrasma and return unnaturally from the boneyard and break free from the cycle of souls. Uh, domains death, evil, magic, strength, and war. Favorite weapon is the scythe. That's kind of cool. I should do an all evil playthrough at some point where it's like a full scythe build. Um, make the character like he was a, a farmer because the farmers get the bonus to the scythe. <laughs> just become like death. <laughs> Torag. Lawful good, neutral, good and lawful neutral Torag also known as father of creation is a stoic and serious dwarven god of the forge protection and strategy who values honor planning and well-made steel he is an often distant deity lending magical power to his clerics but leaving his followers to make their own way through life knowing that this will make them strong and determined. Domains, artifice, earth, good, law, and protection. Favorite weapon is the Warhammer. Oh well, I'm trying to read you. Oh, I guess it's just whatever. Okay. <sighs> Rovagug. Imprisoned since the Age of Creation, the god Rovagug, also known as the Rough Beast, the Great Destroyer, and the word World Breaker, seeks only to destroy creation and the other gods. Believed to be imprisoned in a state of torpor, somewhere deep within Galarian, his increasingly restless stirrings are taken at, by many to be the cause of volcanic activity and earthquakes. His worshippers are known for embodying the god's domain over destruction, disaster, and wrath. Chaos, destruction, evil, war, and weather. Favorite weapon is the Great Axe. Erasma, the D-bag he escaped from. I want to be, I think, neutral good, I feel like. Or chaotic neutral is normally where I go to. So this would probably be a good god for me. Um, Pharasma, the Lady of Graves. Mother of Souls, Lady Grey. Pharasma is the goddess of birth, death, and prophecy. She shepherds Galarian's recently departed souls to the final reward. Upon death, souls migrate via the River of Souls to Pharasma's boneyard in the Outer Sphere. Which sits on top, or at top, uh, an impossibly tall spire that pierces the astral plane. She is among the most ancient deities in the multiverse, but keeps her knowledge of the fate of all souls closely guarded. Domains: death, healing, knowledge, repose, and water. But her favorite weapon is a dagger. Lame. Mm. Why does no one like chaotic good here? Here we go, chaotic good. <laughs> okay. Um, Iomede, I think it would be. Iomede, Mede, something like that. Also known as the Inheritor, Light of the Sword, and Lady of Valor. Is the goddess. 
of righteous valor, justice, and honor. Having served as Aerodin's herald, she inherited many of the last Aslanti's followers upon his death and continues to expose the ideas of honor and righteousness and the defense of the good and the battle against evil. Domains are glory, good, law, sun, and war. Favorite weapon is longsword. Fuck, I might have to become neutral good. Unless this one's better. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm about. Alright, Gorum. Gorum, also known as our Lord in Iron, is a god of battle above all other pursuits. It is said that he would rust away into nothingness if there was ever a time with no more conflict to be fought. His faithful believe he is present in every iron weapon of war that is forged. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Domains. Chaos. Destruction. Glory. Strength. And war. Favorite weapon is the great sword. I think that's my go-to then. That's a pentamedic fate. This ability allows Hell Knight to select one of the following domains. Artifice. Glory knowledge. Uh, protection. Rear and strength. Travel. Hell Knight. Cleric levels. Blah, blah, blah. Nothing really useful. God Claw. The Hell Knight Order of the God Claw refers to Pantheon of Five Deities. Ayamide, um, Torag are seen as model Hell Knights, concerned with offensive and defensive combat, respectively. Irori is the epitome of emotionless, um, emotionless discipline. Abadar are a keeper of laws, and Asmodeus as a strat strategist king. <clears throat> Depictions of these deity are part of the God Claw. Uh, differ from traditional images, with the deities portrayed as stern, armored paragons of law. Though some members of the Order of the God Claw dedicate themselves to individual gods, many take the whole pantheon as their patron, receiving spells despite their unorthodox, perhaps even heretical beliefs. Oh. Domains are law, protection, strength, and war. I, mean, I kind of like Gorum, but yeah, let's delete that. We'll see what else there is for Hell Knights. Atheism. What is this? Hadom Faithless adds perception to the list of her class. She also gains plus two bonus on saving throws against divine spells. Faithless can't take classes capable of divine spell casting or requiring a deity selection. If the character already has the class skill weapon proficiency or arm proficiency granted by the selected background class during creation, then the corresponding bonuses from background change to plus one competence bonus in case of skill, and plus one enchantment bonus in case of weapon proficiency, minus one armor check penalty reduction in case of armor proficiency. Ah. Asmodeus. Wait. I'm gonna stick here so I can see. <sighs> Abadar, the god of cities. Law, merchant, wealth, and the god of walls and ditches. In the Eastern Dragon Empire, he is known to be a patient deity, maintaining a strong neutral stance in his actions. He sets forth to expand civilization and order among the people of Galarin. His domains are Earth, Law, Nobility, Protection, and Travel. Favorite weapon? Light crossbow. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Asmodeus, also known as the King of Hell, Master of Witches, Prince of Law, is the most powerful of the nine arch, de arch devils that inhabit Hell, 
and the only one of the Hell's rulers to claim full divinity. It was he who is credited with the penning of the contract of creation, within which his followers believe is hidden the means for the patron's eventual rise to supremacy. Domains, evil, fire, law, magic, trickery. I'm going to just stick with the one I have, to be honest. Yeah, nice war god, never hurt anyone. Chaotic good. Creatures overall, moral and... Oh wait, I'm going to have to change that to greatsword. Yeah. Creatures overall, moral and personal attitude are represented by its alignment, lawful good, uh, n neutral good, chaotic good, lawful neutral, neutral, chaotic neutral, lawful evil, neutral evil, and chaotic evil. Good characters protect innocent life. Evil characters debase or destroy it, whether for fun or profit. Lawful characters tell the truth, keep their word, and respect authority, honor tradition, and judge those who fall short of their duties. Chaotic characters follow their consciousness, or er, er, uh, consciences, uh, resent being told what to do and favor new ideas over tradition and keep their promises. Yep, chaotic good. Now I can f fuck with everything. Alright. Damn, dude. Okay, so like that. Can I zoom in or something? Like, this isn't fun when I can't zoom into the face and see what it looks like. I got a scar on my forehead. Let me see if there's a forehead scar. Eh, that kind of works. I really don't think there's a way to zoom in. That sucks. I actually kind of like that. So two looks good. Four looks pretty good. Let's go with like... I like that better. Oh, you can select different color. Ooh, okay, cool. That's kind of what I was looking for. I was like, I guess I gotta go with, uh, oh, 54 looks kind of nice. Kind 
looks good. Something like that. Well, it looks more human than not. Oh, I can get a beard. Biggest beard you got. Really, Fu Manchu? Guess that works. Why not a mustache? <laughs> Justin Bieber. <laughs> Yeah, kind of works. I'm always ready. Forwards! No, no, backwards. B backwards! <laughs> Let us press on. You're done for. I feel faint. <laughs> Enemy near. I am superior! I think that's my boy. All this waiting bores me. Time's not waiting. March, march. All I do is march. Beautiful. I will guide. I'll need to review this spell later. Does anyone require my counsel? So it comes to this. I lead. You follow. I think I'll go more with that. Ah. Uh... For a name. Just go dag. Spell's not working like that. <laughs> Funny. Right, let me plug in my phone real quick. I guess she forgot. Okay. 
demoralized persuasion. There's a lot going on in this game, though. I will say, like, I am not used to this much stuff going on. Flat-footed. Hey, from what I can tell, though, he looks pretty fucking beefy. And I can always edit the picture, uh, probably tomorrow when I come home. I'll probably edit him to be slightly green. <laughs> or whatever. Get some, uh, orc... ...grill going on. <clears throat> yeah, everything looks fine. Demons, demons, and devils are three different types of creature. Oh, that's weird. Oh, I forgot to check. I guess subtitles are on. All right, cool. Hey, somebody! We got a wounded fighter. Can we get a healer over here? My, my, would you look at this? But why would you drag a wounded fighter into the middle of the festival square? Couldn't he be carted off somewhere else well, like... me. Oh, I don't know. An infirmary? I'm the wounded Or one. an accommodating ditch? When I get up, I'm gonna kick your ass Make first. Move, everyone, <laughs> step back! Now, what's the matter? What happened to him? You hear this thing, looks voice. Oh. Who did this to him? That's kind of cool that you can see all that. Demons, prelate. We found him barely alive outside the walls of Canabris. The walls, you say? Enemy doesn't usually stray so close to the city. Must fortify the defenses. And you, hold fast. Don't die. We'll see you right. Cool. We'll get you patched up now. But first, you there, guard. Take his weapons. Bearing arms is not permitted during the festival. Wounded or not, everyone must abide by the rules. He can get his things back what after the festival. <laughs> Didn't seem to help. Sure. Take away my weapons in the middle of a demon attack. That's cool. Oh, inheritor, leader of our troops, the sharpened edge of our blades and the unyielding strength of our armor. I owe it to you. I beseech you, grant your mercy, heal his wounds. Don't give up that easy. Here, here. That's the Crusader spirit. My Just let me die, though. That's such a great. Someone call for Torrenda. Line. <laughs> you there. Yes, you. Stop dithering and gawping and make yourself useful. Go and get Ferendalev. Prelate, surely there is somebody else here better suited to running errands. Camilla. It's always a Camilla. I'll get her. Ferendalev. Has anyone seen Ferendalev? <laughs> and the pick me girl. <laughs> Just be quick about it before it's too late. She's like, I'll do it. Now, who are you? She reminds me of that girl from you uh, before, Skyrim. And I have an excellent memory for faces. The woman that was all well about General Tullius. <laughs> She'd suck his dick from the back, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, be quick about it. Who are you? I'm a Hell Knight. In training. I don't remember. Alright, well that's 
That's the first I've heard of that name. Who are you then? What's your business in the city? I'm Dag. Do I need to tell you again? My intelligence isn't that low, but maybe yours is. <laughs> Still Dag. My dear prelate, please, for the sake of the festivities, stop interrogating this poor man. He has been through enough already. Go on. I'll take care of him. All right, as you wish. You are our protector. I do like that it shows that. you, like, how they... So I shall defer to your wisdom. Yeah. Be on your guard. I've been informed he was wounded near Canabras. That means the demons are prowling just outside the walls, and the city is crawling with their spies. Others may be able to relax on this holiday, but not you or I. Not the defenders of this city. Fuck yeah, bro. You tell him. Pry loose the grudging grip of pain. Cast off the veil of suffering flesh. That's such a cool Let effect. light and life go forth in triumph to repel everybody. the skulking shade of death. There. Thank you for helping. I me. accept your thanks. But my work is not yet done. Are you really a dragon though? You don't believe me. Perhaps I should retake my true form and engulf this square with my ice breath to win your trust. <laughs> Pay no mind to my current guise. I appear this way when I walk among the people. I would hamper the festivities if I tried to attend in my true form. Oh, that's cool. What happened? My uh, name is Terendelev. I am the protector of the city. Okay. And then what happened to me? I do not know yet. And that troubles me. I am not entirely sure what the demons did to you. This wound is no ordinary injury, and it was inflicted by no ordinary weapon. I have rid you of your pain and restored your strength, but only time will allow you to heal fully. Am I free to go? Certainly, but be careful. I have managed to get you back on your feet, but I have not healed you fully. Alas, sooner or later, your pain will return. Cool. But do not be discouraged. You will recover, I promise you that. Tomorrow, come to the cathedral and say that you are expected by Terendelev, protector of Canabras. We will find a way to help you. But for now, put this out of your mind and enjoy the festival. They are all too Sitting rare there with a magical war, gaping wound, is just bleeding everywhere. <laughs> Am I being detained? Yeah, exactly what I was getting at. <laughs> it's like, because he was interrogating me for a minute there. Like, it took me, what, 40 minutes to build a character, maybe an hour? And just for him to interrogate me for like five minutes, I'm just like, I just want to play the game. <laughs> Alright, I'll be there tomorrow. Day of the city. Canaveras is a city poised uh, between two worlds on... You are making it very hard to read when you keep moving like that. I just like this image I made. Uh, I guess I should have expanded it over slightly. Oh no, that's supposed to be there. Never mind. Okay, so that's... Oh, that's how you move. Okay. Move the camera. Alright. Let's talk to the stranger. You look weird. Why do you look weird? Hey, sir. Sir, or... Yeah, you, you ain't got no toots. Alright, sir. Why are you wearing a weird mask when no one else is around here? <laughs> can I go eat food? Like, what can I do while I'm here? I'm gonna whack things, I guess. Characters and in interactive objects. You can interact with various objects, such as doors, chests by right clicking on them. Some special objects have an icon above them that shows how you can how you talk to characters. Tab to highlight all interactive objects. Oh that's cool. Alright. Good to know. Sock 1. Are you gonna do it? 
pop right in the jaw. Hey, let me show you how it's done. All right. Battles await. Can I do it again? All this waiting bores me. Happy city day. What's up, little drinky dude? Alright, so what is there to do exactly? Peasants, noble, noble, noble. You have a name. On days like this, it's uh, as if the war doesn't even exist. Desna grant us peace. Oh, cool, I can drink and stuff. All my abilities. This ability allows the character to accept effects of Inspire Rage. If it is disabled, the character won't accept effects of Inspire Rage. Acrobats, mobility. You can move through threatened square without provoking an attack of opportunity from an enemy by using acrobatics when moving this way. So what, do I do that? Demoralized Persuasion. Alright. Fighting defensively, you can choose to take a minus four penalty on attack rolls. And, uh, alright. Treat Affliction. Can I treat my own Affliction? Nice. Each character only once per day. All right, well, coup de gras. As a full round action, you can use the melee weapon to deliver a coup de gras to a helpless opponent. <laughs> Automatically hit and score a critical hit. <laughs> so I just like walk over to him and just like cut their freaking head off. So there's full gore in this game and I'm excited about that. So that's gonna be fun. Delivering a coup de gras provokes attacks of opportunity from threatened threatening opponents. You can't deliver a coup de gras against a creature that is immune to critical hits. Alright, well that's lame. And then charge. Does exactly what you think it does. Okay. And I got a potion of cure light wounds. Alright, let's get to drinking. Well, real quick, is there anyone else I could talk to around here? That's something over there, it certainly is. Alright. To Her Majesty's Health. I like a drink. Yeah. I love a drink, me, especially when the city's footing the bill. What do you say, another round? Oh, I just noticed he's not a child. Oh, did I take too long? I like how the game is not. I am Mahdi, that's a place. Your city will fall to me. Your followers will be in my Wow, we really are fighting the Chaos Gods. I thought they were just saying Chaos in general. I need a weapon. Where the fuck am I? Jesus, where am I? I had one drink. Maybe we weren't supposed to take a drink until too long. Discari, Lord of Locusts, leave my city. Show your true form, Dragon. Lady. You are just disturbing me, man. Oh fuck, she's dead. Let the feast oh, she's all begin. the way dead. He didn't even fight! You literally just roared at him! Discari's here. Discari himself! 
Oh, you're a guard? One minute we had a dragon. The next Halflings are like children to me. She was gone. What are you gonna do? Fight or flee? If flee is your plan, let me help you out. I've got a scroll here with a good protective spell. I've seen you somewhere yeah, before. You, have. you owe me your life. I'm the one who found you outside the walls and brought you inside to be healed. I see they patched you up. Good thing they did it before the attack, or else you'd have been done for. Okay, and then who are the Discari? You must have got a good drubbing around the head, brother. Discari's a demon lord. The most fearsome enemy of all crusaders and all living things, come to think of it. And what's the situation? Who knows? Everything's on fire. Crashing down around our ears. Place is crawling with demons. Looks I like the blood effects on the right. The like, We're sitting right ducks. There. You can see it reflecting on the ground. That's pretty sweet. Care to lend me a weapon? Sure thing. Yeah, take this. Best crossbow I've got. The person who made it said it could pierce the hide of a demon lord, even. I highly doubt that, but okay. Good luck. Try not to get eaten now. You know what? Let's see if it works. Shoot right at you. Oh, wait, did I? A mortal gnat snaps its jaws at the Lord of Locusts. Obviously, you don't know who I am. Behold, Iomane. Behold the death I saw. Why are you following? <laughs> I have no idea why that would have made you fall, sir. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't even look that bad. Uh, all right, well, whatever. Devoured darkness. The silver uh -huh. dragon Terendeleb, the defender of Canabras, fell in battle. Hardly surprising, as she had to fight the demon lord Discari himself. He willed the land to part and swallow all who dared to stand in his way. But the war was still far from over. Okay. Dude, she died so lame. I wanted to see a dragon fight. It didn't even fight. It literally sat there, roared, got stabbed in the neck, and then got its head chopped off. Like, it's kind of cool, though, I will say. I hear a baby. I hope that's an actual baby and not like a demon that's just pretending to be a baby. Okay, I forgot that. Oh, holy mother of... Hey, hey, stay with me. You actually got pretty lucky. You fell down into a black hole. But at least hit you're not Hit me in a fight and gets hit and knocked out. Yeah, exactly. Companion. Like, not even joking. Everything's going to be just... Fine. Tell me something. Can you feel your legs? What she said was, get out of my city. And then got fucked up. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Stab me? Said by the guy just before he got stabbed. <laughs> when that guy pulled a knife on me a couple weeks ago, I didn't ask that. I knew he's gonna stab me, so... I got away from it, because I'm not stupid. I just realized I forgot him. But that is really loud. What the hell is it? Damn. I feel them all right. and lightning. Insane, very, I'm very a little less feeling in them. My ankle's killing me, but my back seems to still be in one piece. My head, too. Could always knock you out, then get you free. Once you're limp, you'll be easier to move. That's all that matters. Now, we're going to... Hey! Fancy meeting you down here. You're the one that Terendalev healed today, right? You aren't injured, are you? Will you help me get her out from under the boulders? Core skills and situations. Frequently, you will have to make a skill check during dialogue. Here, for example, we are trying to help Sila fetch Aniva from beneath the rubble. The result of such checks determine how events will pan out. I don't know why things keep auto-scrolling. It's really annoying. 
Why should we help her? Um, not a complete dick. I don't help anyone for free. Pay up or stay stuck under the rubble. <laughs> we don't have to rely on brute strength for this. I'll try something to use as a lever. That's not bad. Hold on, we're gonna get you out from there. I mean, whatever, I'm strong. Summoning all your strength, you manage to lift the rocks, free the wounded woman from the rubble. Gain 48 XP. Ah, damn it all. I think it's check. broken. Oh well, I've had worse. Fail the checks. I'll just so make myself a splint out had of to act something. Alone, so she would have become fatigued. Thanks for the help. Temporary I wouldn't have lasted long on my own stuck under there. I'm Anevia Tiravade of the Eagle Watch. I was overseeing security at the Festival Square. I thought maybe spies or demon worshippers might have something nasty planned. What actually happened, though? Now that I did not see coming. I don't think anyone could have been prepared for that. Well, I'm Sila, paladin by the grace of Iomade. I crossed the whole continent to come to Mendev and fight demons. And well, I've been fighting for a while now. You don't sound like it, <laughs> to be honest. You sound really like... Well, I guess you do because you're super relaxed about all this. I don't even want to think what might be happening uh... up there in the city. Canabres has lost the protection of Terendalev. And of the Wardstone too, looks like. It's a relic without equal. It was placed here personally by Iomade's Herald with the Goddess's blessing. I really wanted to go see it, to pray before it. But there's no point worrying about a stone when there are people dying in the streets. Yeah. Yeah, things are looking grim enough, but don't lose heart. Wardstone or no, dragon or no, Canabrace will never give in. Simple as. Well, we've introduced ourselves. To the dead. you? Um, I'm a scholar. Um, one person's wars, another person's opportunity. I am led by destiny. I don't know why fate has brought me here, but I feel it has not been by chance. It's kind of weird that I can't say, hey, I'm, I'm in a training to be a hell knight. Like, there's no option to be like, hey, I'm, um, what was it, the arbiter or whatever it was? Ar, ar, whatever that word was. Just wound up here by chance. My name is Dag. Good to meet you. Now, tell <laughs> us all about yourself. She sounds like the whole thing. Yeah, she sounds excited that the whole town just died. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Like, it's not traitor weird. It's just weirdly okay with everything. Like, I'm okay with dumb shit happening, but she's on another level. Whoa, girl. Slow down. Exchanging names is enough for now. We don't have time to be swapping life stories. We need to find a way out of here. All right. Uh, now then, I'll hobble my way out of here somehow. Oh, I don't know if you far, saw the post. Only Thirty paces or so. That's if you're going straight up, of course. I'm I was afraid gonna say we're gonna mean. have to go the long way round. So I don't know if you heard, but yeah, the PlayStation Four is dead. Um, it got corrupted so hard that I can't even get it to boot up to the um, spot to like choose your profile. So after two and a half years, it's it's done. I streamed using it four times, maybe five, and it just decided uh, go fuck yourself to me <laughs> and killed itself. So that's fun. I'm uh, not really surprised because that's just my luck, but whatever. Um, not really letting it bother me, and I'm thinking about other options anyways, and I'm probably just gonna let Ghost of Tsushima kind of die for now. Just set up a donation for 1500 to buy a new PlayStation, yeah. <laughs> Might as well build a new P PC for that price and have a third. That's specifically just for console games. Or something. 
Imagine having a capture card that goes to a capture card that goes to a capture card. Caption card. Capture card. That'd be funny. <laughs> Alright, let's go. To summarize, there are three of us with five working legs, three pairs of five decent hands, people. two clear heads, and one made of wood. <laughs> That's mine. Underground monsters beware! <laughs> yeah, I don't... Anemia, you stay behind us. You're in no fit state to fight. If we do come up against anything, the two of us will try to manage I don't think she's a traitor, first. so I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it go that Onward. she's just so happy. May the good deities lead us back to the open sky I was gonna say, soon. I feel like it's just her way. <laughs> her ways to be super positive. Like, I guess I was kind of like that when I was in the military, so it's not that foreign. Alright, select a party of several characters, uh, alt one. Select one of them, select their portrait, use the appropriate keys to select several characters, da, da, da. So, yeah. No we one stands in my way. Move out. Come on, Limpy. Oh, I forget I gotta move the camera. Look how run put. That better not have been my one potion. Look how run put all the confiscated weapons in this chest. Take a look. Maybe your thing survived the fall. Pressing I. All right, cool. So I'm good with great swords. If we got a great sword, great sword, sweet. <laughs> it's going through my dick armor. <laughs> and can I put a heavy shield on my back as protection? No. Okay. Great sword. Um, a torch just in case. Oh, okay. So. So you can carry like one weapon here, let's say like the spear. Yeah. Alright, but let's compare damages. 1d6. Oh, 1, 2, 6 damage. Two to twelve. Yeah. Take that. Flail doesn't seem really worth it. Cloak of resistance. Damn, I'm looking fine. Looking fine. This cloak grants the wearer plus one resistance bonus to all saving throws. Nice, nice, nice. Looking really good though. Looking like kind of sharp. Can I put things in like my back? What is this? I feel like these are secondary weapons. They are. Okay. Oh, here. Let me see. One to six. One to eight. is exactly the same so cold iron don't really feel there's a difference 5 to 12 damage 7 to 14 okay
Okay, I think that's pretty good. I don't even know how long you're going to live, so... <laughs> Banded metal, heavy armor, 7 armor class compared to scale mail, which is exactly what I would have wanted for him, so... 5 armor class, arcane spell failure resistance. 35%, or 35, my 6 to spell check, or armor checks, uh, plus 1 to max dexterity. 3 max dexterity. Okay, yeah, my armor's better. I was about to steal her armor <laughs> and trade with her. Yep. Alright, cool. No torch slot. Yeah, I mean, it would count as a secondary weapon, so you can, like, set it up where it's, like... Um... How do I... I... Okay. So, it would have to be, like... Oh, she's already got a torch. Um, so then... Yeah, it would have to be in, like, one of the hands, so I could put that there instead of the shield. But I don't really care about the torch, because it's kind of bright in here. What is that? Terran... Delev's scale. One friendly creature within range. Um, you restore life to deceased party member. Uh, raised creature has a number of hit points equal to its current HD. Raised dead also removes the death store condition. Alright, cool. So there's not a dedicated torch slot now. or cultists don't poke my eye out with that thing all right we fell down here during the attack i'm sila that's anevia and this is our new friend we're looking for a way back to the surface really i'm so ever glad to hear it allow me to introduce myself i am camellia i was also in the square your when... name is camilla when i can scarcely believe it how did all those I'm demons get into the city? Familiar. I thought, naively it now seems, that the Wardstone protected us from attack. And Terendalev, I can't wrap my head around it. Oh, she got fucked up. It was definitely an inside job. <laughs> Not many could withstand a strike from a demon lord. Not I even can't argue him. with that. We're fortunate to be alive, albeit underground. Oh, I thought there was going to be more options. I like using Discari all the talky options. Discari himself has come to Canabras. There's no mistaking that ugly mug. Durandalev yeah. tried to fight him, but what could she do against a near deity? Even the we've seen how oh, powerless they that. truly are. Henceforth, we shall have no one oh, but there. ourselves to really rely nice. on. I suppose. Tell me more about you. Who am I? Just an ordinary citizen who decided to take a stroll through the square on the day of the festival. But that's not what you wish to know, is it? You most likely wish to know whether I'll be a burden should you ask me to join your group. No need to worry about that. I can assure you that I am skilled with a rapier. And I also possess some knowledge of magic. Cool. What happened to the guy? I don't know. He must have been in the square when disaster struck. I tried to revive him, I feel like but he's he was already rogue, dead, so she's probably sadly. searching through his shit. You know she's probably stealing his stuff. <laughs> he didn't get these wounds from the fall. Be on your guard. Whatever killed him likely hasn't gone far. Huh. Hang on. I think I know him. His name's Aravashniel, the egghead from the library. He was a good lad, even if he was kind of stuck up. May his soul rest <laughs> in peace. Necromancer be powerful. Yeah. I think you can make Necromancer, um, but... I didn't really go through the list because I'm like, I just want to do a fighter. So do you want to join us? Certainly. Survivors should stick together. It's only sensible. Who knows what else could be prowling about in these caves? 
She feels like a it's what my character would do kind of person. <laughs> we need to keep moving. There must be a way back to the surface somewhere around here. That's right. It would be the height of foolishness to survive a demon attack only to perish under a pile of rubble. Let's see if this poor bloke has anything useful on him. Not to sound like a heartless brigand or nothing, but we kind of need all the supplies we can get right now. Yep. I agree. What the fuck was that sound? Companion Camilla has the ability to cure light wounds. To use it, click the Companion Camilla's portrait. Click the icon with the spell. And... Yeah. Okay. Cool. She only had a masterwork dagger. Alright, neat. Anyone need a dagger? I'll watch your back. You don't sound like you would actually watch my back, though. Oh, I'll arm you for now. quick where did the wounded one go oh there she is such as caves first is to cast light spell on a character walking in front of the party the second is to give one of the characters an ever burning torch to carry You can trust me. Sure again. Y'all don't hold for me. They will break against our resolve. <sighs> when combat begins, the game is paused. The pause is convenient to give orders to your characters. To unpause, press space to order your characters to attack. Select them and click the left mouse button to switch turn-based mode. Real-time mode. Use T. Um, your enemies are highlighted in red. Allies are green. A strip of line connects the characters to their current target. A timer um, over a character's head counts down the time until the next round to fix this character's current schedule. Action. Die! Let's hear you. I'm wide open. Where did my weapons uh, abilities go that were sitting here earlier? Like, I could do charge and stuff. Where is my charge and stuff? Click to deactivate AI. Click to try to hide in the shadows. Let's strike from the shadows. Let's move already. I wish they would hold What's on your mind? There. I wonder. I'm losing my temper. Spells not working like that. Let's strike from the shadows. Spells not working like that. Spells not working like that. Spells not working like that. No! None shall escape! Oh, there we go. Yes. That was fucking lame. I want to see what happened. What was that countdown? That was dumb. Spells not working like that. Hmm. Okay. That was kind of stupid, though. <laughs> I 
Alright, so I gotta get used to the pause. I think that's gonna be the big thing to get used to. Head on! Cut them to pieces! So now where's my abilities? Oh, there we go. Ghost touch spirit enchantment. Damn, you're actually pretty strong. What the fuck? Run them through! I'm done Let's with strike you. from the shadows. I will help Open your hands. Hands. Why does it feel like I'm not able to attack? That's so fucking weird. Or like he's walking. Hmm. Do not out of my Do not way. Wave her. Die. Spells not working like that. Spells not working like that. I don't understand. These attacks feel kind of weak. I, I, I think I understand why it was taking so long, though. That's the in between the rounds. I'm superior! Why is he walking? Let me cry. I don't understand. Why are you walking? There's no reason to walk. <laughs> Battles await. Onwards. Oh, I guess in order. Let's see what this way goes to, though. Why would shift not be the speedy move? Maybe. This is slow. Oh, now they're running for some reason. I don't understand the difference. Maybe it's a right click. Scroll and then click light wounds. Races to the farmer, which speaking of <sighs> Braces of Armor, these braces grant their wear bonus plus one just as though they were wearing armor. Like most bonuses, an armor bonus does not stack with armor bonuses from different sources, such as bonuses from wearing armor or from mage armor. These braces grant the wearer plus one bonus to AC and one lock. I'm gonna stick with the normal ones then. I can sell them though. I just like that you just see me standing there like a dork. No, I can't just walk away. It's got to be here somewhere. What are you? Most people are half orc or half something, but you are literally a half lizard man. <laughs> when do I? Yeah. What's that mean? Lan, did you find it? Who is that? 
The do-gooders here to save our mongrel souls, no doubt. <laughs> Wait. They might know what's going on up there. Attack monsters. <laughs> like you don't deserve to live. Who are you? Yeah, we'll if things are as Mothers bad as you wacky. say, then we all have to hurry. Uh huh. You didn't come from the direction of the shield maze. Damn it! I couldn't care less about what's happening on the surface, but the maze. Uh huh. I realize that you guys have your own troubles, but we need to be in Canabras. People are dying up there. Please. Show us the way out. Who are you? Tieflings are the descendants of people who sullied themselves by mating with demons. Our ancestors would never sink that low. We are the underground crusaders, the children of the crusade's finest. Mm hmm. Neat. Sadly, underground crusaders is a bit of a mouthful, so people usually just call us mongrels. Okay. Huh. You just love repeating that, don't you, Lan? Mongrels. That's what the Uplanders call us. But we call ourselves Neethers. No matter what you call us, it's not going to stop our horns, hooves, or tails from growing. I've never heard of the underground crusaders before. In Canabras, they're called mongrels. People say that they come up to the surface at night and eat anyone foolish enough to wander alone after midnight. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I thought you guys were just a tale to tell kids at night. <laughs> That's human gratitude for you. Our forefathers suffered the consequences of demonic corruption, all to protect Mendev and Golarion. And for what? So we could become monsters used to frighten children. Demonic corruption, that sucks. Alright. <sighs> Every mongrel has their own take on it. Our chief, for example, thinks of us as something like a reserve military force. I mean, yeah. You he guys thinks are we're the standing girl. by until the moment we're needed. And when Which we emerge now. on the surface and save the day, all the people will see how good we are and they'll love us for it. Yeah, he leaves that last part out when he talks about it, of course, but it's easy enough to read between the lines. <laughs> I like him. All right, so what is this place? This is the hall where we remember the glory of our forebears. Sorry about the mess. Uh, it doesn't usually look like this. Trust me. Sometimes we even wipe the dust off the exhibits. <laughs> this is where the relics of the first crusaders are displayed. Our lives are short. Our glories are quickly forgotten. But this place helps us to remember that we are just as worthy as anyone else. Good. And that our lives are not lived in vain. Huh, the first crusaders? You've been down here that long? That's crazy. So... That's none of your bit. We're looking for a holy sword. It was here, in the center, sticking out of a rock. The sooner we find it, the better. Some kids from our tribe took off for the shield maze. They figured it had collapsed, and now it's their time to go up to the surface, like all the legends foretold. Okay. Except they don't have a clue what's waiting for them up there. They're not fighters. And Sul, the chief of our tribe, is dead set against it. He says that now isn't the time for the underground crusaders to take up arms. If we get the holy sword, we might be able to change the chief's mind. Okay, I'm down for it. It's a fool's errand. None of us will be able to hold the sword, let alone use it to save anyone. It's not an ordinary weapon. It's made from righteous heavenly flame and will burn anyone who touches it. Do you think you're special, Lan? Aww. 
I'll pick it up with my teeth and tie it to my hand if I have to. It doesn't matter. An angel sword and a troop of stalwart mongrels will be able to work a minor miracle. <laughs> uh, speaking of which, I like the voice you're acting. still here, Wendu, which means that deep down, you know it's possible. Ooh, he's got you there. <laughs> so what about this maze? Yes, there are other ways up, but they are far from here. And after the earthquakes, there's a good chance they've collapsed. But the maze... There's a legend among our people that when the walls of the maze fall, that will be a signal for us, the underground crusaders, that the time has come to go up to the surface and fight the demons in the final confrontation. <laughs> Until then, the well, say the final maze confrontation is shielding basically us now. from taking rash actions. I'm the only Kinda one in sense. our whole tribe to have been in the maze. And even I don't know if it's true. But the further I went in the maze, the fresher the air became. That means that it really must lead to the surface. Yeah, that makes sense. When the ceiling and walls started shaking, why the, audio the young ones in our tribe like lost their heads. They figured the maze was going to collapse, so it was time to go up to the surface. They grabbed whatever weapons were on hand and ran off toward the maze. They think the maze is no longer a danger to them. They've been listening to Wendwog too much. Mm. Don't try to blame this on me. Yes, I told them that our people are capable of making our way through the maze. In the future. But I always told them to wait until I had made a map of all the maze's dangers. A sort I warned of warned them a hundred times. But it was no use. My words just went in one ear and out the other. A sword of holy flame. How did it wind up down here? It came here with its owner a long time ago. 50,000 gongs to be precise. 70 years ago in Uplander. I was going to say, what's that in real people? Because <laughs> that sounds like you're going off a clock. <laughs> 50,000 gongs ago, our forebears found a dead angel here, along with the bodies of his comrades. The tribe gave them a dignified burial, and they were laid to rest with their weapons. But the flaming angelic sword was stuck in a rock, and no one was able to pull it out. It burned to the touch, like real fire. So the rock was placed over the angel's grave. That's cool. It should be here somewhere. Maybe the angel will dig himself out and find the sword for us. <laughs> that might be our best shot in this chaos. Lan, watch your tongue. We'll find the sword faster if we work together. I'll help you. Thanks. An extra pair of eyes can only help. The sword will be easy enough to spot. It looks, uh... Sorty. Sorty. <laughs> Help us, and in return, we'll get you out of here. All right. <laughs> now we're talking. Let's get to work. It's a good thing we all bumped into each other, isn't it? <laughs> what? You want to find the sword quickly, so the underground monsters bring you back to the surface. So be it. All right. I'm going to pause here and get ready for work. All right. Uh, I hope you all had fun. I certainly did. Uh, most of that was character creation, but that's now out of the way, so life should be a little better. <laughs> and we should be able to get right to the action next time. So, as I was saying, um, we'll probably come back to this tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Um, there's something else I was trying to remember. I don't know. Anyways, PS4 is dead, so no more Ghost of Tsushima. Hope everyone's down for that, because that's just how it's going to be. <laughs> I'm poor, and I'm not buying another PS4. <laughs> um, but yeah, have a wonderful evening.
I'll see y'all tomorrow. We did have a couple offline follows. Um, that would be Gif Madala, Gim Lagara, Nishant Shihal or something like that, and Martin Elena. Thank you for those follows. Welcome to Mobile Infantry Trooper. Now you're all one of us. Yep, have a great night. See ya.